Alan Walker, faded. 3.6 billion views on YouTube. And I've never heard of him until today. Yes! I love him so much! Cool voice, again connected, but much more breath flowing. Don't want a mic stand just hanging around. Me where the light is. Yeah. The song was released on 3 December 2015. 3 December, I can't speak. Recorded in 2015. Genre electro house slash or and EDM. Alan Walker songwriters. Alan Walker. Jesper Borgen. Anders Froon, Gunnar Greve Petersen. I'm trying my best Scandinavian accent. Producers Alan Walker, Jesper Borgen, and Mood Melodies. So very interesting. The song topped the charts in several countries around the world, including Austria, Belgium, Czech Republic, Finland, France, Hungary, Italy, Latvia. Norway, Poland, Portugal, Russia, Slovakia, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. Wow. Lots of this EDM type music does really, really well in Europe, right? It has received several certifications around the world, including 11 times platinum in Sweden. Wow. Double diamond in Poland, seven times platinum in Italy, and quadruple platinum in Australia, which is not in Europe, and Spain. Very interesting. It also reached number one on the Shazam Worldwide Top 100 Popular Songs in Feb of 2016. And by March 2016, has become, had become the world's most Shazammed song. Is that a word? I didn't know that was a word. That's incredible. As of June 2023, it is the 28th most viewed video on YouTube. 28th most viewed. I mean, that is, that is absurd when you think how many hundreds of thousands, if not millions of videos there are, probably millions on YouTube. And also the 14th most viewed music video. So out of music videos, the 14th most viewed, with over 3.3 billion views. Sorry, I said 3.6 in the intro. 3.3 billion. That is a lot. That is like, I cannot believe that I've never heard of this artist or this song before today. Faded is also the 95th most streamed song on Spotify as of March 24 with over 1.8 billion streams. Wow. Walker debuted a live performance of Faded with Solheim and String Support on 27 February 2016 at the Games in Oslo. At the X Games in Oslo. The X Games, that's important. The performance was aired live on Norwegian television. The song was put as the ultimate track on Walker's 2018 album, Different World, after an interlude specific to the track. Welcome to the channel. My name is Johan Bester, your vocal coach in Johannesburg, South Africa. And yeah, I'm a little ashamed that I've never heard the song or known about this artist. But on the other hand, you know, we can't all know and listen to everything. So 
I'm very happy though that some fans of Putri Ariani from Indonesia commented on my um, penultimate, is that the word? Second last um, analysis video on hers. And they said, please do a, a reaction to her song with Alan Walker. And now I can't remember the name. I'll remember it in a minute. Um, and you can watch that analysis. It's up on my channel right now. Um, and then I thought, but who is this Alan Walker? So I read up about him. Um, incredible record of what he's done in his relatively short career. Um, still young, from Scandinavia, born in the UK, but moved to Sweden, I think, or Norway. When he, Norway when he was two years old, so he grew up there. Um, yeah, the, the Scandinavian music scene is very interesting. I know this because I was involved with a singer who went there for songwriting trips. And then I learned so much about the creativity of, of the Swedish, Norwegian, and Finnish, um, especially Sweden and Norway. Musicians, producers, songwriters, they actually produce, I mean, this one, then to me unknown um, production, not production house, what do you call it, publisher in, in Sweden, they had something like 14 or 19 or something K-pop number one hits. So they write all sorts of stuff into them, very creative. I um, mean, also when you watch Sweden's um, The Voice or Norway, The Voice of Norway, the singers are just incredible. They have an incredible culture of singing as well in those countries. Anyway. So he's from there, he's a DJ and a producer, world famous obviously, which I now know. And so I wanted to check out this song called Faded, which was like the original, oh, that's a song that he did with Putri Ariani. Wait, let me check. Just, just wait, just wait a second. Just hang in with me, okay? I just want to make, make sure I give you the right facts. Yeah. No, they did Who I Am. My bad. He did Who I Am with Putri Arani. But, but I think this is the second iteration of the song. It's something like he did two versions of it. Anyway, if you're a fan of him, please let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And by the way, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. It's free. It takes a second. And it would really help the channel. I would really appreciate it. <clears throat> so let's check out the song. Alan Walker, Faded, 3.3 billion views. A genre that I don't know, that I'm not familiar with, but I'm keen to delve into new things. You were the shadow to my light, did you feel us? Another star, you fade away. Afraid our aim is out of sight Wanna see us Alive Where are you now? Let me pause quickly and just talk about this singer, this vocalist. Um, his name I didn't read. I do apologize. Where is it? Where does it say it? Yeah, a Norwegian singer. Iselin Solheim. Ah, oh, Solheim, yeah. Oh, so she co-wrote the song. No, she didn't. Where did I read her name? Was she part of the production team? Anyway, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting off track. Um, I really enjoy this singer's voice. Iselin. I'm sure that's... Not I'm sure. I hope that's the way to pronounce it. Iselin Solheim. Um, such a lovely... <clears throat> but interesting and specific type of pop voice. Very light voice. What does it mean, a light voice? It means a voice that naturally shines, comes to life, sounds beautiful with a glow on it in a higher pitch range. So she doesn't sing super high, just around the A4 um, C sharp 5 area. This seems to be in like E flat minor or maybe F sharp major G or G flat major. So it's super high, but it sounds high. Don't you think? It's because of her voice type. 
And it is so important and so telling of Alan Walker to choose the right vocalist for the right song, the right key. If this was a, let's say, let's say a, a voice that, that many of us will know, like Pink or Kelly Clarkson, powerhouse vocalists, if they sang this, it would have sounded way, way different because they have a different voice type. So the voice type plays a huge role. So I love how she sings. It's a little bit breathy and very light at this moment. But I can just tell from the first moment I heard her, I could just tell she really does have skill, vocal skill. So I'm enjoying that. Where are you now? Almost Ellie Golding vibes in her voice. Where are you now? Where are you now? Was it all in my fantasy? Where are you now? Were you only imaginary? Where are you now? Um, I love how, like I said, I'm not, I don't have a lot of knowledge about this genre, about this style of music, but I love how the track is building. It builds very organically, um, in a sense, like it's not super surprising when at the next section or the next repeat, where are you now? There's an extra layer of, you know, electronic sounds that, that come in to make the texture thicker so it means the music gets bigger it seems like it's getting louder but it doesn't always get louder it just sometimes is because of the extra added layers of sound that makes it sound louder so it's a very sort of anticipated kind of build in the track but i like it um and yeah she sings like i said very lightly a bit breathy but very intentional and I can hear everything she says, which is one of the signs that somebody has good technique. Obviously, well, I say obviously, but most likely there is a lot of processing um, on the vocal in this, especially in this style of music. But it doesn't matter. It's just, it's the way it is. You know, if you want to hear super, super uncluttered natural vocals, you must listen to art music. Western art music sung live, like an opera aria or something. Um, but yeah, just really vibey. Where are you now? Tells the story so beautifully. I like it. Shallow waters never met what I needed. I'm letting go. Less instrumentation now. Where are you now? New effect now, huh? Where are you now? Under the bright, the faint lights You set the heart on fire Where are you now? Where are you now? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's called, well, it can be called a vocalizer. Some software that you put a voice through, that funkiness that we heard there before the repeat of the chorus. And then sort of a bit of a beat drop and the percussion coming back in. 
Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I think in a in a song like this, and in in this style of music, oftentimes, I think it's more about the soundscape that is created by the producer, which is what he is, right? A DJ and a producer. Um, it's a little bit like Tommy Prophet. Maybe you know of Tommy Prophet. Maybe you don't. If you don't, check him out. I've also done analysis of some of his um, arrangements, productions, and recordings of like Christmas songs and stuff. Um, his is more cinematic, not so much EDM vibes. But just like with Tommy Prophet, this guy in this guy's music, like with Avicii as well, and lots of um, DJs who are producers. They get a vocalist and they have a song that has some catchy hook in it, like, where are you now? I mean, that's what I'm going to remember all day. Da, 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 and there's nothing to it. It's just a very simple melody. But there's a simple melody that's hooky, catchy, but it's really about the layers and, and the way the sound is produced. It creates an atmosphere. It's very atmospheric, vibey. It's very... It creates space for emotion. Does that make sense? That's why I think mm, billions of people have watched it or millions of people have watched it numerous times. Um, it's like it connects emotionally. And I think in different ways for different people, which makes it great. It's not a song that tells this incredible story um, with super clever lyrics, quite repetitive in a sense, but that's not the point. He's got really thick eyebrows. Did you see that? I think that's him. If you know, if you're a fan, let me know. I think that is um, Alan Walker there in the video. Maybe not. Maybe it's an actor. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, look, I, like I said in the beginning, I really enjoy delving into different kinds of genres that I'm not familiar with. You know, I studied music classically, classical music, if you will, Western art music at university in the 90s. It's a long time ago. Um, and that was my main passion and my main love, together with choral music of different kinds. So I came from that Western art music background and choral music, music education background. So yeah, it's really, it's really been an interesting journey the last, I'd say, 20 years, slowly getting into how the recording industry works. Um, through my children, I discovered lots of different styles of music that I would have never listened to. Metal, math, core, rapping, different styles of hip hop, whatever. Um, I'm so grateful for that because it just broadened my horizons. I'm still a vocal coach. I'm not a producer, so don't judge me if I don't have all the technical terms correct. I've also done some analysis on rappers, um, and on, um, you know, beatboxes, which I know nothing about, but I just find it so fascinating. Why shouldn't I check it out? Why shouldn't I share it with you? I've had so many beautiful comments from people who then actually are very knowledgeable about different genres that I'm not, and they tell me very interesting things. I love it. Please, please keep doing that. Please keep sharing your experiences. Some people who have been at some concerts of these people, whatever, um, share your experience, share your views, share your knowledge. Um, I would really appreciate it, and so would all the other people who read the comments and my comments. So thank you for spending the time with me today. I really do appreciate that you did that. And I want you to always remember that your voice matters.